So our bodies emit a certain amount of infrared light. <clears throat> so infrared light is light we can't see. We, we sense it as heat. So when you go outside on a sunny day and you feel the warmth of the sun on your face, what you're really sensing is the 42% of sunlight that is in the infrared part of the spectrum, okay? What people don't realize is that infrared light fundamentally runs a lot of their biology under the hood. And they don't realize this because, you know, we don't come with an owner's manual or an instruction <laughs> manual, so you have to kind of figure it out as you go. But quite literally, your mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell, they make energy in the form of heat. They make infrared light. This interacts with water in the cell to create energy. So the X39s reflect a very specific frequency of light back into the cell that has a specific effect of turning on and on off key, I'm going to call them bioregulatory pathways, right? But biochemical pathways and, right. and, and so on and so forth. And that's how they work. So, you know, you asked me to make sure I made it simple and understandable. Yeah. Yeah. It's real simple. <laughs> These patches reflect your body's light back into the body at a very specific wavelength for a very powerful therapeutic effect. Do you wait to change your oil until your engine is knocking or your car's engine is smoking? And they say, no, of Whoa. course not. Yeah. Why would I do that? I say, okay, so you do reasonable things to keep your car in good condition because right. you recognize that replacing your engine block can be five to $20,000, depending on the vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you realize you got to keep your wheels in the right alignment and you got to rotate the tires and you got to do all this stuff, right? Why do you do that? They say, well, I know. You know, my car came with an owner's manual. I say, I know, you didn't. Mm -hmm. Right. So what are we going to do? We're going to do everything reasonably possible, right, to keep you in the best mm -hmm. condition possible. And when you look at the kind of results people are getting with this, a lot of it is diseases that have emerged, right? They've, they've emerged out of the body and they're clearly a problem, right? Wouldn't it be great if before they emerged, you kept them sort of back? And that's why I recommend and why I use the patches myself every day, even though yeah. I don't have any real medical problems that yeah. I'm treating with them. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Okay. So all of you have had the experience of listening or hearing a noise that for some reason just made your hair stand up on end. Fingers on a blackboard, the sound that's like a, a hinge will make when it's rusty and it's creaking open. It just makes you uncomfortable, right? And what's funny about that is these noises are not necessarily loud right? Mm -hmm. It's that their frequency is very powerful. Yeah. It can almost right. make your whole body feel uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. That's why the patches are engineered to reflect a very specific frequency back into the human body. Without you even noticing it, that frequency going back into the human body is turning on cells and pathways and changing what's happening within your body. And that is the foundation, foundational science of the technology and that I think is something people who are used to pills and things that come in bottles and boxes and bags for their wellness, they're not used to thinking in terms of, oh wait, if I just pick the right energy for my problem, it'll just go right. away. But it works that way. And the more, the longer I practice in the integrative natural medicine mm -hmm. space, the more I think in those terms and the more I find myself quoting Tesla's quotation, which I just shared with you. Uh, stem cells are cells that can uh, grow and then what we call, we, the word we use is differentiate into other types of cells. Okay. I want you to think about it in terms of like, you could take dollars in your checking account or a credit card and you could go out and you could buy anything. You could turn it into whatever you needed, right? You could turn right. it into a car, you could turn it into a house, you could turn it into a shed, you could turn it into tools, you could turn it into life wave patches. Whatever you want to turn it into, you can turn it into that, right? But at the end of the day, if you don't have any cash in the bank, how do you turn your car into money for groceries, mm, right? right? Yeah. So the body has this finite number of cells that, it calls, that we call stem cells, and the stem cells themselves become anything you need. You need new heart cells, they become heart cells. You need new brain cells, they become brain cells. You need new hip cells, new joint capsule cells, new bone cells, new muscle cells, new whatever cells, those stem cells become those cells. They're all over your body, they can travel through your circulatory system, and the thing about stem cells is they, as you mentioned, they go into what we call senescence and they begin to run out as we get older. This is part of the aging process, right? 
And so the name of the game really of anti-aging and regenerative medicine might easily be summed up in keeping as many stem cells around for as long as possible and keeping them as powerful as possible. Avoid degenerative diseases of aging. I'm talking about heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, obesity, um, all the things that people today have learned to, to right. fear, unfortunately. And the name of the game is keeping the stem cells well to mitigate or prevent those illnesses and recover from them because illnesses is a part of life. It's a fact of life. We're all getting older. And so we all want to be as, in as good a position to recover when we do have a medical problem as possible. And that's why stem cells are so important. That's the tough thing about procedures is that procedures have this big ticket price, right? And the reality is that that ticket price, um, you go to the procedure, you have it done, then people generally fall into, I, I look at it as three categories, right? You get the people who get no benefit, you get people who get a slight and potentially likely transient benefit, and then you get the people who are the poster children who end up in the infomercials and and the advertising, right? And that's great, but I don't think that people realize that they may spend five grand uh, and end up in the bottom tier. And the thing is, you can get the X39 now, you can enroll some friends, all of a sudden yours are paid for, and then you can use it for the rest of your life. Long before I started using LifeWave, right? In natural and integrative medicine, what you're trying to do is turn on the rest, rejuvenation pathways in the body to get it to come back to a state of, of better health, yes. right? Sometimes people will mistake the symptoms of disease for the signs of ill health when truly the symptoms of disease are a sign that the body is actually doing something about a problem in the body. Say I tried the X39 yeah. and I felt worse, what happened? Well. When you get on a plane and you fly across the country and all of a sudden the plane is jerking and jumping up and down and yeah. it's turbulence, right? Do you assume that the plane is going to crash? No. You know, if every, and I tell this to patients when they're saying, I'm sort of scared, I'm worried, you know, like, should I keep going with whatever you've recommended me to do or should I quit or you know, is this good for me? Is it bad for me? I say, look, every plane that ever hit turbulence turned around, no one would ever get anywhere. And the key is to make sure that you're nourishing your body you're hydrating it well, because what your body is trying to do is it's taking toxins out of cells, dumping them into your bloodstream. That's part of why you feel bad. Then it's trying to excrete them through your kidneys and it's trying to excrete them through your gut. And so eating things like fresh fruits, vegetables, hydrating well. Essentially what the X39 is doing is it's turning on the production of the peptide that binds the copper, right? So, you know, it's, it's tough for me to come up with a good analogy, but if you look at water in your house, right, we're all happy that we can flush the toilet, turn on this tap, get water out of the refrigerator or your yeah. water filter Especially or whatever, flush the toilet. right? <laughs> but, you know, if you have water in your house in the wrong place, we, you may wind up w or wake up one day with half your house being full of mold. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of a sudden you got to do $150,000 or more in re renovations. Right. That's if you have a small house, it's not that expensive. Mm -hmm right? Free radicals, heavy metals are the exact same story. And so this is like improving the plumbing in your house to prevent a leak. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love it. Their thinking starts to break down here. And I often see this happening that people will say, well, I don't want to spend this or that or the other thing on this or that or the other thing, X39 patches, supplements, right. good medical care, whatever. The liabilities that show up out of that are $100,000 hospitalizations, 10, 20, $30,000 stem cell procedures. The amount of money you're gonna spend on maintenance is gonna be dwarfed by the amount of money that you're going to spend on getting these diseases back under control, if you even have the option. Because for some people, their first heart attack is their last heart attack. Their first stroke is their last stroke. Their first cancer is their last cancer. They don't get a second chance. So keeping our collagen peptides strong, keeping them abundant is the name of the game. Under the hood, we actually know that people with better collagen networks, collagen helps hem in things like cancers. So you're, the stronger your collagen network, actually the more it's gonna protect you from things like cancer. 
very important. It also protects your arteries, right? So when you have, say, a heart attack or a stroke, oftentimes what's happening is the vessel wall has been damaged. The collagen, the elastin, the other fibers in there that make up that, that vessel wall, they've been damaged. The body tried to clot in order to, in order to heal that damage, and then that created the stroke or the heart attack, right? So collagen is critical. It's one of our most abundant proteins. So you want to be doing everything that you can to keep your body healthy and well. And the GHKCU peptide pathways, the pathways it affects, play into this, right? So you can improve your collagen matrix without changing anything about your nutrition just by changing the light that your body is absorbing vis-a-vis, -vis, say, the X3 and right. the patch. They should take this technology seriously because it works. It's very cost effective for the results mm -hmm. that it gets. Uh, it can actually provide them with more clinical, more time for themselves, for their families, mm -hmm. and most of all for really good patient care. Because one of the challenges we face today is that patients need a lot of time, they need a lot of education. A lot of the doctors are, you know, they're healthy, yeah. you know? I mean, some of them are not, right? Um, but they're actually more likely to see a really impressive result in an older family member. I have to be very protective of my reputation, right? Because in the end, it's people come to me because they trust me. So for me to endorse this product, I have to be very sure that it works.